everybody, it's Shari here today, and I'm going to be making this terrific card with some great paper piecing. Super easy paper piecing. I'm going to use the teapot and the little teacup from Best Pun Ever set. And I've already cut this piece of 12 by 12 paper from the Let's Poke Mona Me collection with one of the stitched rectangles so that it will layer on a regular size card base, an A2 size card base. And I have that little doily that I just have in my stash. I think I picked it up at Michael's. And I've got some scraps here. This is from the Petite Paper Pack for the Let's Poke Mona Me papers. Got a little scrap of pink here, which that teapot will fit perfectly on. And I'm stamping it with the black licorice Lawn Fawn ink. And then I'm going to stamp the little teacup on the yellow. And I'm also going to stamp the teapot on the yellow too, because I'm going to do just a little bit of easy paper piecing with kind of those. Um, the little top of the lid and the stripe. I'm going to add the little smiley face to the teapot. And then I'm going to take the even smaller smiley face because it fits in the little teacup. So I'm going to stamp that on the teacup there. And then here you see I'm stamping that teapot out again. And I'm not going to use the yellow teapot, but I'm going to use the little top of the lid and the little edging of the lid. I'm going to cut those out. So I'm going to take the matching dies here and just line those up with my images and tack them down with some tape so that I can run them through my die cut machine and cut out those little images just perfectly. So the, I like to use some post-it note tape and I just usually have little scraps that are stuck to my lamp up here. Um, and I'll just keep reusing them until they're not really tacky anymore. But it just holds them in place. And then you'll see I've got the top of that little teapot that I stamped on the yellow cut out. And I'm cutting out that little trim edge that's along the top of the lid. And Penny's playing with toys in the background here. Sorry. <laughs> and so I'm going to easily cut that out. It's a really thin little piece, and so I don't want to put a bunch of goopy glue on it. So I'm using one of the um, little glue pens. This is like a ballpoint pen, but it puts out glue. So you can do a really small area, and I can do that right along that edge piece. And then I'm going to use my tweezers to put it in place right where it's supposed to be. And then I'm going to do the same thing with that little knob on top. And you could color these too if you didn't want to paper piece them, but I decided I would just paper piece these two small pieces. So there are, is that um, finished teapot. So I'm going to put that piece of green that I cut out with the stitch rectangle on my card base here. I'm just going to put a nice amount of adhesive. I like to do it down all four sides and then some in the middle. And then I'm going to line it up so that it's centered in this A2 size card base, which is cut out of some cream colored cardstock. This is Nina uh, Natural White, I believe. And then I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of the little doily. And you'll see I've there's something stamped in the middle of the doily, and that was just me trying out uh, the Hippo ink, I wanted to make sure it didn't bleed on this doily because it's kind of a different kind of paper. It's a little thinner. So, But that's going to get covered up by the teapot, so that's why it's stamped right where it's at. So I'm going to line up my doily, and I'm kind of wanting it to, to lay over the edges here of the rectangle. It's not fitting perfectly inside, but I wanted that kind of effect. And then I'm going to use some foam adhesive to put my images on my card. So I'm using two thicknesses. These are the thin foam adhesives from Scrapbook Adhesives. I like the thin ones because then I can put the teapot on and it's a little closer to the base, but it's still popped up some. And then the teacup has the thicker foam adhesive, so it looks like it's in the foreground and it's popped up just a little bit more. So I'm going to adhere those little pieces down to the doily. So the again, the teapot has like a thinner adhesive on it, and then the teacup has a thicker, so it's going to overlap right over top of the teapot there. And then once I get them in place, I'm going to use the little steam stamp and use that Hippo ink to stamp the steam coming out of the spout of the teapot. And I tested it earlier, so I know it's going to keep 
it's sharp lines and that this ink's not going to bleed. Now I'm just going in with a white gel pen and I'm coloring the inside of the cup. And I'm going to color the little feet, the little base of the cup and the teapot as well with the white gel pen. Just to add a little more interest to these patterned paper piece pieces. So that just adds a little more dimension. Like I said but earlier, you could do the same thing with the other stuff on the top that I paper pieced and make it a little bit easier if you wanted to. It's all personal preference. And then I'm going to take the little heart that's also in the Best Pun Ever set and use the Wild Rose ink and stamp a couple hearts here right on the doily. I really like that this ink doesn't bleed even though this is a very thin paper of the doily. It keeps its nice sharp image. And now I've got the Your Terrific sentiment that also comes out of this set. And I'm using a scrap piece of the yellow stripe paper, the lemon stripe paper from the Petite Paper Pack. And I'm just going to stamp that sentiment out right along the edge. Now this is obviously a lot longer than I'm going to need, but I'm going to trim it down and make a little banner. And so I can take this piece, I stamped it right along the edge, so now I can take this piece to my paper trimmer and trim it into a strip. And those sentiments fit perfectly on a half inch strip of paper. So I can use my grid on my paper cutter to line it up and trim that down to where it's perfectly even. And that's just going to layer over all the stuff, the, the doily and the background paper. And I've also cut a strip of the pink polka dot paper, the really small polka dots. It's a little wider than this half inch strip. And I'm going to line that up on top and layer those together. And then you'll see I'm going to line it up on my card because the sentiment isn't necessarily stamped right in the center of that strip. But I want the sentiment to be centered. So I'm going to center it up on my card where I want it. And then you'll see I'm going to grab my Tim Holtz ruler. That's a clear ruler you can see through. It's got a grid on it. And I'm going to line it up to where I can make a mark and I can trim this little strip down to where it's even on both sides. So I'm just using the measurements to kind of figure out how long I want it to be. I want it to be a little shorter than the width of the card. So I'm just going to trim that off with my scissors right at that pencil mark that I did. And then I will make little fishtail banners using my scissors on both ends of this little sentiment strip. So now I just wanted to add a little more to it. So I'm using the Wild Rose ink again and that little heart again. And I'm just adding one little heart to each side of the sentiment. There was a little extra space there and I thought it'd be nice to fill it with that little heart. And then I'm going to use some foam adhesive tape to adhere this banner down to the card so that it pops up off the face of the card a little bit as well. And I'm using foam tape to put the sentiment down instead of like the foam squares because I like that it's nice and continuous along the whole back of that little banner. And then there's no sagging in between where the foam squares would be and it holds it nice and straight. So when it's all continuous like that, I don't worry about I would probably fill that whole thing up with foam squares if I didn't have the tape just because I don't want it to sag in the middle, especially since it's the sentiment and be kind of obvious since it's a nice straight piece. So that's why I'm using the foam tape. And then I added a little bit of clear wing of Stella because a little bit of sparkle is great on every card in my opinion. Even cards for guys. So I added the Wink of Stella just to the hearts. And then I had an afterthought. It would be cute to put a little bit of faux stitching kind of around my image right inside the doily. And I could have done this earlier, but like I said, it was an afterthought. So I'm just using one of my stitch circles kind of as a template guide. 
And I'm not drawing right against the edge, which you could, but it's kind of keeping me going in a circle to draw some faux stitching with just a pink gel pen that matches those hearts pretty well. And there's the finished card. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye. Oh,